welcome to the weekly Walker Update. I'm B. Luke, Hans and Joe are with me. And first, can we take a moment of silence for the characters who died on the season premiere of The Walking Dead? <laughs> I'm, I'm, really, I'm really emotional, Hans. Uh, so, season premiere kicks off. Did you think we are going to see who was going to die? I mean, yeah, we yeah. did. Did you, did you think? Did you, did you think when you're watching it, like, oh, man, like, when you said, like, I don't know how late you tuned in there, but when it was like, Walking Dead starts in five minutes, where you're like, man, I'm, I'm going to see who, who it is. Because in the back of my mind, I was like, I think we're just going to go to the kingdom. I think it's all, you know, we're going to see, like, him... Negan swing the bat, and all of a sudden, like, cut to something else. So we were actually, we're going to find out who lived or died. It so we were like, actually going to get episode two before episode one. Correct. That would have made a lot of people angry. Yeah, that would have been great. Correct, but I thought they were going to do it. Like, how many times have we watched The Walking Dead last year where they did stuff like that? Like, oh, no, this person's going to die. And you're like, and then they cut to something else. In and episode like, what, what? all about the governor. Yeah. I don't know. I... So, last season, we had our predictions of who was going to die. I said they are going to follow the comics. You said because of love, love Triangle, it was going to be Abraham, Sasha, or Rosita. Mm -hmm. How is it we're both right? Or like, maybe both of you are wrong because both of you didn't call both of them. Yeah, I think we're both kind of wrong. But we're both right. I mean, we're, 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 a, we're a team. We're, we were like, both half right. Correct, but I mean, I was just like when when it was Abraham, I cried because I laughed. All I could think about what? was it was you who died. I laughed because, at it. just because of what he said. Oh, the suck my yeah yeah, and I was like yeah Abraham, and all I thought was like man, that's what Hans would say. That's like, what I would say with my last breath. That's what you would say. So if I, someone was going to win a baseball <laughs> bat, suck. Yeah, my last words would apparently be terrible. Yeah, you'd just be like, you know what? <sighs> but it was brutal. So I, I'm crying there, and I'm just like, well, I'm glad it's not Glenn. I, you know, I'm okay. And all of a sudden, bam, it's Glenn. And we're, we're, we're all, all of a sudden, we're back to the comic book where he's reliving the parts where he's just like, Meh. and I'm like, Oh no, what's going on? And I I lost it, man. I was just like, my mouth's open. I'm like, I've never been that emotional watching a show I've before. I've never been more indifferent. I feel like I'm the only one that celebrated. What? I mean, someone was going to die. I mean, That's the entire point of this, right? We're celebrating those that are dying. We don't come back to say, hey, who lived this episode? No, we say, who died this episode? And that's what we're in it for. Well, the problem is, is they don't set it up. They don't set anything up for a happy ending, because everyone's going to die, everyone's already infected, and there's obviously no chance of a cure at this point. There's no one we've ever seen immune. I mean... That we've ever seen immune. Yeah. We haven't met there be somebody... I mean, for any kind of longevity, I mean, other than that, everyone dies and everyone's going to turn. There's no happy ending. I agree. Here's the thing. Zombies aren't killing people anymore. People be killing people. No, I've done That's what this is. It's no, like, happening. that. That's, that's a good point. Like, like zombies, the zombies are just... have become less and less and less of a threat. As the seasons yeah. have gone on. When you watch season one and all of a sudden, like, there's that scene where uh, everyone's at the campfire and the zombies just pop out of nowhere biting people. You're like, oh, zombies are so scary. You're terrified. The cast is terrified. Yeah. And, and now... Because they haven't had experience. The and now we're not scared of zombies. We're scared of a man with a baseball bat. That's what we're scared of now. We're like, I think he has this a game. game. This this no it's no the game the, look how fast they were picking off people they're like we can take it but all of a sudden this guy's got a baseball bat and he's just like like people are losing their minds. See my question is how did these people become so loyal to Negan? Fear. Like, Rick could have taken a hatchet. He could have stuck it in Negan's head. 
And why yeah, would those people... What what did Negan do to get them so on his food. side that they would also kill him? Food. Because Negan led this whole uh, racket thing. That's like, oh, hey, they're getting supplies from other groups for doing but absolutely that could be nothing anyone. now. You could take out Negan and replace him with anyone. Yeah. Any of that gang can be like, nah, you know yeah. what, Negan, see you later. Yeah, I'm well, going to do this would, now. I agree. Why are they so legal to no or loyal to Negan? In the comics, they kind of explain a little bit about how he's the strongest of them, he's the smartest, um, but there's still the fact of... Uh, I, I don't understand why they're so loyal for a man There's no so backstory cool. here to make us fear him so much. No. But I will say there is a huge difference between the comics and the television show. Like, I, I, I know we talked last season when I saw Negan. I was like, man, he doesn't look like Negan. He doesn't seem that scary. Like, whatever. But this this last issue, or last episode, I hate Negan. Like, I don't want him to live. I want him to, like, get martyred and, like, chopped up into a million pieces. Like, Rick started it, though, right? Yeah. Well, Rick, Rick's, we're going to take out the saviors. Rick, and then Rick we're going to be people. part of your community. Right. I mean, Rick, Rick did what you said people shouldn't do. And I was like, no, nah, go in there and kill them in their sleep. Rick started it, and he's facing the repercussion. Yeah. Um, when they got to the part there with Carl, like, he wanted to chop off Carl's arm, I was done. I checked out. I was just like, oh, Carl's gonna lose his arm, okay. I'm okay. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> that snot rocket that came right out of his nose? Rick was into it, man. Andrew Lincoln was just in it. Yeah, they, they were, I mean... The bubble. Yeah, I thought they would edit that out, but, like... No, it makes it too great. He was in it. Do you think it was CGI? Like they actually? No, I feel like it was a snot yeah, bubble. It was real. Yeah, it was. It was. It I was an emotional was real episode. Snot. I believe it was something. It it was an emotional episode. So we went from that episode, which uh, we've talked about before. Like I watched it with my mom and dad, and they always watch the last week's episode because they want to make sure they miss anything or anything like that. Uh, when I w when it came home and I went into their room, like went to the living room. They weren't watching. I was like, "You guys aren't watching Walking Dead." Like, nope, we're not watching. I, I can't. I can't go through that again. That's how bad that episode is. My parents, the people who will watch every like when that Walking Dead marathon's on, they'll watch the whole thing. I thought it was great. We got exactly what we wanted. Somebody died, but it it was too and we got a bonus death. Yeah, yeah, we got a twofer. Exactly, it, it was grotesque, man. It was, I mean, it, it, you got... There's no queen death by baseball bat covered in barbed wire that I know of. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, just, it just struck enough. So when I got to this last Sunday's episode, where we're in the kingdom, it was so nice. Yeah, that's the like, point. You had this completely different contrast. It was so juxtaposed. Worlds. It was uh, from this gritty, sad thing to Carol, who... I'm loving Carol each and every episode. Carol's annoying. I don't like Carol at all. Like, and like, there's that part there where she brings, they bring her in to see Ezekiel, and she's all like, this is so lovely, this is delightful. She's putting on as big of a facade as Ezekiel is. Yeah, and she's just like, I want to kill you so bad. <laughs> like, if I had a gun, I would shoot you. Like, I don't think she ever wants to kill him. I think she just wants to get out. Uh, the tiger was really fake looking. I mean, wh why wasn't a real tiger used? Why for does he have a tiger? Because the tiger's awesome, and it's in the comics, too. He has a tiger because the tiger's awesome. That, that was your logic behind it? They're friends. Like, he saved the tiger, and then the tiger became, like, trusted him and follows him, and, you know, they're, like, best friends. It's like me and my cat. He's either going to eat somebody, or somebody's going to eat him. That's how this is going to go. That's how it's going to go? Yeah. Is that your predictions? <laughs> and here's the thing. like, there, There's the comic version of it, but in my mind, I'm like a television show. I'm like, how many times can you have a tiger? Like, If, this, if you want the tiger to last you know, three more seasons, depending on how they want to do it, the cost but of that CGI, Microsoft... Window Microsoft's gonna have to put up so much money. They're gonna have a segment going. Here's how we made the tiger on the new Surface Pro Five. <laughs> you know? Yeah, 
would be terrible. Like, I mean, how many ads have we already seen for? I don't know. How many times have we seen a baby? I mean, there's a baby. We definitely know there's still a baby, right? I mean, there's a baby, right? Rick's baby's of, still alive, right? We haven't right? seen it for like four episodes. Yeah. So same thing with Tiger. We just use the same logic that we're using with the baby right now. And we're just applying it to the tiger. No, because every time you see Ezekiel, the tiger's there. No, not every time. There was only in the chamber and at Carol's. At Carol's place, yeah. Every you know what? I want to make a spinoff called Carol's Place. <laughs> Come on, I'd watch that. I love when you open the door he's like, you really got to try these. These pretzels are making me thirsty. I mean, I don't know why. Like, I don't know. I, I just felt like, I don't know. I relate to that part. He's just like. Didn't feel very Seinfeld ish. To me, it did. I felt like he looked, he looked like Kramer to me. I was just like, oh. I would watch that, though. <laughs> Carol's Place. <laughs> Carol's Place, yeah. <laughs> this week. Like, is it like Pee Wee's Playhouse where, like, people just show up? Like, this week, we've got my uh, dead husband who used to abuse me. And she has him like on a stick, like, hello, Carol. And there's a secret word. Yeah. And every time they shout the secret word, zombies pop up and she has to go ballistic. Yeah. It, the secret word's like brains, like, and the zombies That's go brains. Easy. I don't know. But yeah, uh, it, it was such a relief, this episode. I, I, I think for me, I was just so happy with this episode. I was like, man. The kingdom's nice. Uh, a lot of your boy in there, Morgan. Yeah, Morgan's the dude. Donatello with the staff. I miss the governor. I don't think he really likes the situation that he's in, but it's working. Do you think he's going to leave and go back to Rick? I mean, he seems pretty content at the kingdom. Well, I think he's going to meet Rick somewhere along the way. Yeah, and, and the kingdom is going to join forces with Rick, and they're going to take out Negan. You That's think they're going to take out Negan. Right. Why can't they? With the it hill? seems so easy. But there's a lot of... I mean, we're going to find that out this week. This week, we're, which is, is kind of weird because we're, we're going into three storylines. Next week, we're going to be dealing with Negan and Daryl. Because it's called The Cell. So it looks like it's just going to be a Daryl storyline. So I'm going to watch football. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you hate Daryl, man? I don't know. I just have no interest in his character. He's but ne Negan's he's awfully one-dimensional. But Negan's going to be a main character. I mean, in that episode, you like Negan? I don't know. I, I don't just, understand. I, Negan. I, I I think it's going to be important for you to realize how big the saviors are and how big, like how big are the saviors anymore? The saviors five are five two fifty. I don't know. Sav saviors are a large, large army. It's a joke. Oh, so, uh, but yeah, we'll find out. Uh, thank you guys for joining us on the weekly Walker update. Let us know what you thought in the comments down below, and we will see you next week.